Hi everybody, this is City Readings and hi Leo. Now let's see what messages will come up for you guys. This is going to be for Leo. This is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs. What do we have for Leo? Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs. What do we have for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs? In case this resonates, check out the link in the description box. It will take you to the extended for further clarifications about the person you're connecting with. How are they thinking, feeling about you? Their next moves, outcome advice, love notes, guidance from spirit and your future love. So do check it out. It will be linked below as well as your guidance from spirit. Any question that you may have on your mind, Leo. Now let's see, what do we have for Leo, please? What do we have for Leo? Wheel of Fortune reverse. Two of Swords. Oh, what is it that is bothering you? I feel like there's something that you're unable to decide about. It could be on your mind, but I still feel like there's like a decision that has to be made about this situation. Okay, Leo. Mm, yeah. Somebody has, has to decide here about something. Yeah, a decision has to be made. A decision has to be made. You may be feeling stuck. Why the two of swords? Five of swords. Your challenge is the five of swords with the two of swords. So maybe it is about, you know, somebody who plays mind games and your challenge is to maybe... You know, this is not nice, actually. This is somebody who plays mind games and then you're stuck feeling like, what do I do about this? And there's resistance, Wheel of Fortune Reverse. Wheel of Fortune Reverse represents a lot of things, but I think that you're feeling stuck somewhere or you felt stuck somewhere. Um, we'll see what happens in the future, though. Six of Swords. You know what? I don't see you staying there. Yeah, absolutely. I see you dropping this burden. Do the right thing. Do what you feel like is the right thing to do. Man. Somebody's obsessed with you. Let me tell you that. Your overall energy is the Nine of Cups with the Five of Pentacles. Yeah. I feel like you're... Yeah, there was somebody in the past who made you feel a certain type of a way. And I feel like you're not willing to give into this anymore. You're not willing to give into a certain situation anymore. You're just thinking about moving past this. Okay. You're thinking about, mm -mm, I'm not going to sit there and wait for somebody to act a certain way kind of an energy so happiness you know being happy by yourself or trying to find your fulfillment uh trying to do things that make you happy and in your outcome you do have the magician so i i see you being able to manifest what you desire but there's more to it of course so with the five of swords with and the two of swords this kind of talks about a change that you know you've been wanting to change something in your life and um, it could be in regards to a person or overall about something and i feel like now i see you doing it okay now i see you now you're at that point where you're like you know what it's almost like a now or never kind of an energy you just don't want to sit there and tolerate this anymore you have the wheel of fortune reverse this is about a change but it's also about a delayed change. Why the Wheel of Fortune reverse? Strength card. I like it. I like it. 
Mm -hmm. I feel like you're very clear about your feelings. And if the other person isn't, then you cannot do anything about it. Um, it's like somebody gets you involved in their petty drama over and over and over again. For whatever reason. You have the strength card with the Wheel of Fortune reverse, Leo. So this talks about... I feel like you're really holding on to your inner strength, Leo. You're really holding on to your inner strength. And it almost looks like there could be a situation that, you know, I think that you tried your best to not let the situation be where it's at. But now you're at that point where you're like, you know what, if this is it, then this is it. And I see you surrendering control when it comes to this situation. Two of Pentacles reverse. I see you dropping this burden. I don't see you being there to try to figure things out. Because you feel like being there and trying to figure things out only gets you more stuck. You have the Six of Swords energy. I see progress. I see forward movement. I don't see you staying stuck for somebody anymore. Two of Wands is also your energy. This is about decision making. We will see what this is about. Your person's energy over here, man. Three of Swords. Leo, this person's feeling... Um, I feel like maybe they watch you on social media and stuff. They do have feelings for you. Okay. But it's like this is something that, you know, it, it's not like this person is not very emotional when it comes to, you know, showing you that love. Maybe they are feeling sad. Now, sometimes the Three of Swords, the intensity of this is not as much. We will see what this is, but it, it looks like something is bothering your person. It's not always a heartbreak. I mean, I'm not getting this person's energy to be like that. They could be sad, but it, it's not always a heartbreak. Why I'm saying it? Because you have the devil right underneath that. Your advice here is the king of coins, the justice, and the four of wands. Moving forward... Um, there's something much better for you that you're manifesting. This is balance. This is stability. This is also achieving something, Leo. But I feel like this is also talking about following your inner voice. With the King of Coins, this is about um, doing what brings you the stability that you desire, basically. In your outcome, of course, you have the magician energy, which is very powerful. So moving on with things, it's like you're leaving a stuck situation behind and you're moving on to a, you know, a better phase in your life, basically. What do we have for Leo, please? Tell me about the Two of Pentacles reverse, Six of Coins reverse. You feel used. You feel like this situation was very like there was lack of balance in the situation and you feel like somebody just wasted your time, basically. Why the Six of Swords? I just see you moving on. For some of you, this could be about traveling. Eight of Swords reverse. This is nice. I feel like if somebody really was wasting your time and keeping you stuck, then I feel like you're not going to be in that energy. I see you moving on from it. And it's like you have the mental strength to be able to do it as well. So that is nice. Um, it's about getting unstuck. So the month of August for you is going to be about getting unstuck big time. Tell me about the Three of Swords, Hangman. See, so this person is feeling something, but they're not doing something about it. Why the Hangman? Oh, 
Well, looks like Leo, this person is quite hot and bothered about you leaving them or not showing up for them. It almost looks like they're getting obsessed because this is something that they weren't expecting from you. They're feeling extremely left out and sad that the situation isn't moving forward. You may be sad, but you feel like you've given them, you know, enough time and enough energy already. Leo, tell me about the Five of Swords. Absolutely. It's like going in circles with somebody, not feeling like there is a way out of this. And I feel like you're finally finding a way out of this. Okay. Now, this month for you is also going to be about letting go of unhealthy attachments. Because looks like there's that temptation always around you with the devil. This could be a lover. This could be something else that needs to be addressed. And your advice is to not lose your control, your balance, no matter what comes your way. It's about choosing your stability. It's about doing the right thing. Rebalancing the scale here. It's also about karma. It's almost like, uh, you know, the universe is telling you that you're in a very abundant energy of the king of coins. You don't have to sit there and, you know, wait for things to unfold in a certain way. You just have to be the magician here. You already have the strength. It's time to release. I'm seeing a little bit of codependency issues or maybe it's just that you got, you know, you got that energy of I will, I will make it happen. I will make it happen. So I feel like you gave in your all to this connection. And honestly, I feel like your person is feeling sad that you're just not the same anymore. And it's like creating a sense of obsession for them. Why the devil? Two of cups. <sighs> this is a love obsession, Leo. Devil and the two of cups. What is it? Something is also seeming very karmic to me. It's like there is love and there's obsession. For some of you, it was really hard for you to get over this person or it is still very hard for you to get over this individual. Moving on is a hard choice here for you. But sometimes, you know, when we're doing so much and the other person isn't showing up and playing games, then that's the only choice we have. Neither one's reverse your advice. I feel like somebody was very in and out of your life. It's time for consistency. It's time for you as well to be consistent with your goals. Because I feel like at this time, if you put more energy towards your money and something that you're really wanting to manifest stability wise, I feel like you will achieve it. Four of Wands energy. This is balance. This is stability. This is even marriage sometimes. But I'm reading it as something that is bringing you a sense of stability with the four of coin um king of coins i apologize let's see tell me about the magician energy for leo oh bottom of the deck is the sun and the tower reverse well, you're prioritizing your happiness which is good i do feel like this month for you is about being happy by yourself and, you know, it's about some sort of a good news. It's about some sort of a wish fulfillment. But it's not in regards to what you might think. Okay, so this is something that is also extending, you know, past this month. So it could be two to three months from now. There's definitely something very happy and very fulfilling that you're manifesting in your life. That's why your advice is to focus on that more. Focus on the right thing, if you may. You're able to manifest this. But I also feel like this month you're very adamant about not going back. It's like you're very serious about not giving the past another chance, another go. You yourself are tired and wanting to move on from something with the magician energy. There could be love, but I see you moving forward as well. 
why the three of cups reverse three of pentacles some of you feel like it's better to focus on yourself your money than to go back and deal with somebody who just wastes your time i'm going to be very honest with you yeah you feel like i really think leo it's not that you don't love this person it's just that there's a delay here there's a delay and the situation is stuck so what do you do with that even if there's love or whatever it is if there's attraction but the situation isn't moving forward the way you want why the king of coins for leo the world reverse I feel like it's time for you to okay this is about feeling like there's some unfinished business I heard it's not the end of the world so I really feel like if a door closes for you many will open especially with your money and when it comes to your money I feel like you have to especially if you're wanting to expand on that you have to try something new maybe with your money because King of Coins is a very stable energy that is coming in your advice. What do we have for Leo? Check out the link in the description box. It will take you to the extended for further clarifications about the person you're dealing with. How are they thinking, feeling about you, their next moves, outcome of ice, love notes, guidance from spirit and your future love. So do check it out. I'll be leaving a link in the description box below if you want. The energy is gaining momentum and confidence is the key to success. So this is your own energy. You have the strength card there as well. So it's like being confident in yourself. Things are moving forward. The energy is gaining momentum. Things are moving forward. Um, hopefully towards the direction that you want but you need to stay confident i'm hearing that there's something about achieving something and you having you know you have to keep going with something being very focused on your work being it's like you're being the person who co-creates with the universe Let's see what are your love energies. Forgiving and learning as you release and heal the past, you experience more love in the present moments and retreats. Right now, there seems to be a break between you and your person. And I feel like you're, you're, you know, the past is supposed to teach you a lesson here from that. And I definitely see that somebody here is obsessed with another person. Now, it's either that it's going on right now or you know there's a possibility that it will happen in the future that you may find somebody who's obsessed with you but this is coming in your energy right now there's somebody in your environment who's obsessed with you and i feel like low-key you were obsessed with them too like really interested but now you're recognizing things and moving past them it's like you cannot surrender control like that anymore okay what do we have for Leo? Soulmates, I love you. And there's, there's love between you and this person, honestly. But the problem is that your person comes with gains. For now, I really don't feel like you guys are going to work it out. Maybe you will, but this month looks like it's about you and achieving things and manifesting what you want long term. Okay, that's about it. Those were the messages that popped out for Leo. Give this video a like and subscribe to my channel. Check out the extended link below to find out more about the person you're connecting with and what's happening next for you guys, as well as what does Spirit want you to know. Okay, take care of yourself, Leo, and bye-bye.